trumpet and the people shouted with a great joy that the wall fell down oh we don't have bible students the walls fell down flat, flat. flat. so the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city these people shouted with great joy and thanksgiving to their maker. They shouted to their deliverer. They shouted, the walls came right down. The product of praise is that you will be delivered from every wall that is standing before you. Hallelujah. Every wall that is holding your progress. Today, I want to tell you that if like these people, you decided that on Monday, you went around the wall quietly. I don't want people to see me praising. I don't want people, you know, I'm too shy. I don't normally dance like those people. The dancing is only for certain people. The Lord wants you to shout. Look at what the Bible says. He said, the people shouted. When the people heard the sounds of the trumpet and the people shouted with great shouts. Yes. There are times some situations don't need you to do the quiet ones. Yes. There are some situations where you don't need to say, you know what, it's very, um, you know, I'm very reserved. So I'm not one of those that will shout. I'm not one of those that will come and give a testimony. I don't like people hearing my voice. You know, I feel too shy. There are situations in your life where you've got to drop the shyness. There are situations in your life where your praise has to be heard. There are situations in your life where people don't want you to just whisper about how good your God is within the four walls of your own house. They want you to go out and shout out. They did something new on the seventh day. They blew trumpets. They shouted. Where are you shouting? Where are people hearing your praise? Who are you telling about the goodness of your Lord? Are you waking on a Sunday and it's the same old, same old? I'm going to stand here. Guess what? By shouting and by praising God, something will happen. If a product, if product means something coming out as a result of something you are doing to meet a need. Hey. Why not shout and praise the Lord? Who's going to lose if you praise God? Hey. Who is going to lose if you praise God? Bye -bye. Oh Lord, have mercy. If you don't praise God, what did the Bible say? I'll get stones to praise me. That's right. Who are you? But God wants you to praise him because guess what? The need that will be met is yours. Yes, bless you. If you don't praise God, someone else will. But if you don't praise him for yourself, your need will remain there with you. Hallelujah. The people shouted and they praised God and the walls came tumbling down. Hallelujah. Any wall in your life today, if it has been standing there and you need a breakthrough, you need to open your mouth and learn to begin to praise God so that those walls in your marriage, those walls in your job, those walls in your health, those walls in your spiritual life will come tumbling down flat. Amen. Hallelujah. One more person that I want us to look at in terms of how you can get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Well, I said one, but there are actually two. If you've asked Daniel and you were not convinced, and then you've gone and asked Joshua and you were not convinced, I want us to look at Paul and Silas. Hallelujah. I want us to look at Paul and Silas. What did they do? Hey, what gates are before you today? What gates have been shot before you today? Hallelujah. Let us look at Paul and Silas. Hallelujah. Oh my Jesus. Let us look at Paul and Silas. The Bible tells me in Acts 16, 22 to 26. Hallelujah. If you've got your Bible, I want you to turn with me. Amen. Hallelujah. We will get there. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me in Acts 22, 20, 16, 22 to 26. It says, and the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrates rent off their clothes <clears throat> and commanded to beat them. Yes. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, yes. charging, the, charging the jalo to keep them safely. Mm. Who, having received such a charge against them into their inner prison and made their feet fast in the socks. Mm. 25 says, and at midnight, yes. 
Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto the God and the prisoners had them. Hallelujah. I want to take that again. It says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners had them. I'll come back to that word. Hallelujah. And verse 26 says, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were moved. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, and at midnight, hey, when is your midnight? Is it when you wake up? Is it when you go to bed? The Bible tells me that they prayed and they prayed. And guess what? The prisoners heard them. They were not going, I am too shy to praise. I don't want anybody to hear me praising God. They were bold enough. They wanted the world to hear them. Who is hearing your praise today? Who are you shouting out your praise to today? They were not shy. They didn't care. They didn't want to know. People heard them praise their God. Who's hearing you? Is it just in your bathroom? Is it only when the praise and worship team are praising? Is it that you're shouting boldly in your car? You're shouting, when is your midnight? The Bible says, and suddenly there was an earthquake, a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. What is going on in your life today? What is, it, what is it in the name of Jesus that has formed a prison gate before you? Before your children? Before your job? What is it? The Bible tells me today that Paul and Silas, they prayed and they sang praises unto their God. Until you get to the point where you're able to sing praises unto your God, those prison gates will not be opened. I pray in the name of Jesus that through our praises there will be an earthquake that will be breaking every chain and every door and every situation in our lives today that need a breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anything that you've been believing the God, the Lord for that has looked like there's been a gate and a chain and a lion and a wall before you, I pray in the name of Jesus that through your praise those chains will be broken. Those doors will be opened. Those lions will be shot. Their mouths will be shot in the name of Jesus. I remind us again that all you need to go, you, all you need to do is just to go ahead and praise God. Don't wait to be pushed. Don't wait until something happens. Don't wait for the big miracles before you begin to praise God. Praise Him for the little. Praise Him because you have breath. Praise Him because you're here today. The Bible tells me that in, he inhabits the praises of his people. He enjoys, he takes pleasure in our praises. Why not praise him? What is it that is stopping you? Are you too shy because you don't want people to hear you? Hey, how can you praise him? You can praise him by singing songs of thanks. You can praise him by coming out to testify for what he did yesterday so he can do some more tomorrow. Hallelujah. Praise God. That is why he is called Jehovah, because he never lies. When he says a thing, he will do it. So who are you? And what reason have you got not to praise him, to fulfill the product of praise in your life? Hallelujah. I want us to rise up this evening. I want us to rise up this evening and begin to praise God. I want us to rise up this evening and begin to say, Lord, like Daniel, shut the mouth of every lion through my praise. Lord, like Joshua, oh God, as they walk through the walls and as they went, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, they keep the same old, same old. Have you been doing the same old, same old? Today is your day seven. If you've been doing the same old, same old, today is your day seven. Rise up and begin to shout and begin to praise him so that every wall in your life that has been standing against your progress, against your children, against your marriage, against your job, may they fall down and come tumbling down tonight. I want us to open our mouth knowing that by praising God, your problems begin to shrink. What is that problem that you've got before you? Do not focus on the problem, brethren. 
Move away from the problem. Because what the devil likes, he likes you to focus on the problem so you can be depressed, so you can wake up at night, you can be worried, you can be thinking, you can... The Bible says, what did, what did Paul and Silas do? Rather than wake up and worry at nine, they woke up at nine and they prayed and they prayed. We have to turn our nine times, turn your nine times from a time of worry to a time of praying. What do you wake up at night to do? Do you wake up to count how many debts you're owing? Do you wake up at night? To find out what you're going to eat tomorrow. Do you wake up at night to worry about your worry? The Bible says, Paul and Silas, at midnight, they prayed and they praised their God. I want us to cultivate a habit of praise. Hallelujah. I want us to cultivate a habit of praise. Get to the point where nobody has to remind you to pray. It may not be easy, but it is good. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Brethren, open your mouth and begin to learn to praise Him. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We praise you for your mighty work, O oh God. We praise you because you are God. We praise you because it is good to praise you. Lord, we praise you because you inhabit our praises, O oh God.